Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy Star. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful rainbow grasshopper in watercolor. As always, I start with the contour drawing. I used my reference photo and drew out all the darker details on the grasshopper's body. After I finished sketching, I taped the paper to my painting board with my paper masking tape. So the paper won't bend and taping it will also preserve the white edges for the background. Then I apply the masking fluid around the edge of grasshopper and the branch, so it's easier to paint the background. I'm using Winsor & Newton's watercolor masking fluid with a ruling pen, but you can use any tools you like. After the masking fluid is completely dry, it's time to paint the background. I change to my bigger brush and start painting from the left side of the background. I'm planning to paint a blurry like background and I think wet on wet techniques will be great to create the look. So I wet the paper with clean water before I apply any color. Then I quickly add colors starting from lighter colors to darker shades while the paper is still wet. Because the paper is still wet, the color we add on afterwards will blend nicely into each other. I suggest pre-mixing the colors so it's ready for painting before you apply the clean water. Otherwise, sometimes the paper is already dried out before you finish mixing your color. For the first layer, you want to make sure you get most of the base color right. Then let the first layer dry before you apply second layer. Because watercolor dirt fade out a little bit after it's dry. This way we can see clearly which areas need to be strengthened when painting second layers. For the second layer, same as with the first layer, I pre-wet the paper before painting, then add the darkest shades while the paper is still wet. After I'm done with the background, I let it dry completely before removing all the masking fluid. I'm using a remover here. Then we can move to the grasshopper. For any animals that I do, I always start painting from the eyes. If you paint the eyes well, it helps the whole painting a lot. And I think that will also encourage you to finish the painting. So make sure you get the shape of the eyes right and leave blanks for the white part of the eyes while painting. After I'm done with that, I start painting out most of the darker shades on the body so I can see the whole contour more clearly. I change to my small brush here so it's easier for the details. Especially the darkest shades near belly and lower body, also the dark pattern on the wings and legs. There are quite a lot of details here, so take your time. But after this, the coloring process afterward will be much easier and faster. I'm using darker brown and indigo here for the darkest part.
Next, I start the font coloring process. I use a little bit liquid watercolor here for the light green color on the wings. By the way, I like to erase any left pencil sketch before start coloring, so I know there's no pencil sketching left on my finished painting. So I start painting the first layer with base color, then continue adding details and shadows afterwards. I suggest working on layers like so because it'll help creating the realistic look. Next, I start painting the branch. I change to my bigger brush and first paint a base layer, then add darker shades while the paper is still wet to create a nice blending color. While waiting for the first layer to dry, I go back and add darker shade on the grasshopper's body and strengthen the patterns, then highlight the wings with a watercolor pencil. After I'm done with that, the branch is about dry, so I add the wood patterns on the branch. Also, I add shadows around the edge so it stands out more from the background. So the painting is about to finish here, comment below and let me know what do you think. That's all for today's video, I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please like and share with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next week, bye!